Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a question based on LPP. This question was asked in NTA Net December 2019, right? The question was given as maximize z is equal to x1 plus x2 subject to the constraint x1 plus 2x2, right? That is less than equal to 2000. This is not 2000 and 6, 6 is extra here. So just discard it. This is a typing mistake here, right? x1 plus x2 is less than equal to 1500. x2 is less than equal to 600. And x1 and x2 is greater than equal to 0. The solution of the above LPP is these are the four options and you have to mark the right one. So let's go to the solution. So it, I solve this question right so maximize you have to do this with subject to these constraints now in this question you hadn't mentioned that which method you are going to use so i am going to use here the graphical method right graphical method easy to implementation as there is only two variables are given that is x1 and x2 so we can easily implement a graphical method in this question right so firstly take the equation number one that is given as x1 plus 2x2 that is equal to 2000 right the very first equation now what you need to do is you have to put first the value of x1 is 0 after putting the value of x1 is equal to 0 you will get x2 is equal to 1000 and then do the vice versa right now you have to put the value of x2 is equal to 0 and you will get x1 as 2000 now here from the first equation you have drawn two points right the very first is 0 while putting 0 x2 is while putting x1 is equal to 0 then you will get x2 as 1000 and the second point is when you put x2 as 0 and you will get x1 as 2000 now what you need to do you need to plot this equation in a graph right just like we do graph in our uh, 8 9 right similarly you have to do the same concept evenly this concept is based on the 12th yes so what you need to do you have 0 to 2, uh, 1000 right firstly you can make this as 500 then 1000 and then 1500 as i mentioned in this graph and same on the x axis and same on the y axis right 500 1000 right and this is your 1500 and 2000 so the first is 0 to 1000 this one right 0 to 1000 this one and second one is 2000 to 0 this one now you make a line to join this point right this is the line number one this is mentioned as one now move to equation number two so the second equation is given as x1 plus x2 that is equivalent to 1500 same process you have to repeat that is first you have to put the value of x1 that is 0 and then you have to put the value of x2 that is 1500 because uh, there is no equation so you can rightly guess that 0 and 1500 and similarly 1500 and so 1500 and 0 so 0 and 1500 this one and 1500 and 0 this is your line number 2 right and the same for equation number 3 that is x2 is less than equal to 600 see here only one variable is present that is x2 now you have you know that x2 obviously the value of x1 will be 0 in this case so put x1 is equal to 0 and you will get 600 right simple you will get the equation as 0 and 600 500 and you hadn't marked 600 so slightly upper than 500 then this is the 600 and 0 and 600 then you will get a horizontal line this one that is equation number three right now what you need to do is see you have to check whether the this equation right this equation that you had done uh, you had marked now what you need to do you have to make a you have to make a closed region from this right now what you need to check uh, just put what i do in my case i just put zero just like in first equation while putting x1 and x2 is equal to zero what you get zero is less than equal to 2000 this equation is true zero is less than equal to 2000 right so the equation is true now you have to line this 
towards the origin like this one you have to make the area this one right now similarly for equation number two you have to put the zero on the uh, with the on the places of x1 and x2 now you will get zero is less than equal to 1500 then this value is also true one so this will also contain within the region and uh, lastly zero is less than equal to 600 right so this value is also true so you will get a bounded region right you will get a bounded region so here uh, we will check the points of the closed one see this is zero zero is one point right here it is mentioned zero zero now this a a this one a then you have b this area right b then you have c and then you have d see what you need to carefully observe in this case is c zero 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 is given already given to you then next you have this is your 1500 and zero that is point a this is already shown right now next you have b for b point you need to solve the equation you have to check which line intersects uh, in at point b right for point b you see that equation number one and two and you need to solve this equation to get the value of point b here you will get uh, c here the values now here you will get the value of x1 and x2 that is 1500 right so put the values here right you will get the point number b similarly for point number c that is not given in the question uh, you have to check for point number c for point c uh, you have the c uh, you have to check the equation number one and equation number three right equation number one and equation number three and you will clearly find that x2 is given and 600 then you have you have to clearly mention that x2 is equal to 600 and by putting the value of x2 that is equal to 600 you will get the value of x1 that is equal to 800 right now you have all the points 0 a b c and d just i mentioned in this table now what you need to do you have to now check what you need to maximize right the maximum equation is given as z is equal to x1 plus x2 right so here you have to put the value of uh, you have to put the value in this line for example x1 plus x2 here 0 0 0 plus 0 then you will get 0 then a a what is the uh, point values at a you have 1500 and 0 then x1 plus x2 1500 plus 0 then you will get 1500 and then you have b value then this is 1000 plus 500 then again you will get 1500 then 800 plus 600 at point number 6 then you will get 1400 and at point d you will get 0 600 while adding this you will get 600 for in the question we are given us to maximize value right to maximize we have two maximized value in this case that is 1500 at point a and b now we need to check which option is available in the mcq right which option is available so you are uh, given as 1500 for 3 and you are given as x1 is equal to 750 x2 750 and then you will get 1500 then 500 at option number b 500 and 1000 at and you will get the maximum value as 1500 and option c said option c is given as x1 is equal to 1000 x2 is equal to 500 and z is given as 1500 so in all cases you are given 1500 as the maximized value but you need to check the value of x1 and x2 so in this case you are given uh, 1500 1500 then this is your answer number 1500 right so here it is mentioned that option number c is your matches with the option number c but in the given point uh, in this question you are given a point number b right and it matches with the option number c clear okay if you like the video then please hit the like button and please subscribe the video thank you